as you can see I've still got some work to do on the back of the bus but, and you'll have to excuse the state of the garden because yeah I wasn't exactly planning to be here this one all the windows are now laminated in the same reflective stuff I've got solar panels up on the roof as you can tell I've done some of the work on the exterior but I've got a bit more to do um, and if we look under here maybe we can see I have now got no, sorry <laughs> the grey water tank is now mounted up under there with huge grate pipes and I've got a bit more work to do on it but it's all held in place on huge grate frames and strapped in sorry I know you're on wobbly cam like I said I made these bars, you might just about be able to see them underneath the solar panels and had these roof rack mounts modified in order to take everything I needed. Okay, now from the other side, not a lot of space here, new front tyre on and I painted the wheel whilst I had it off. Again, laminate and you can probably see the solar panels a bit better from this angle. Still a little bit more work to do on the outside as I said before. I'm going to put the wheel arch back on this side. You cannot see in through the windows. Thank goodness. <laughs> but this is all hooked up. All these solar panels, there's 1425 watts on here. Now going underneath, on this side, oh, just need to turn this. On this side, under here, you can see some huge great batteries. If I could see the camera, it'd be even help, more helpful. So there are four 240 amp our batteries all wired in all working on the solar system okay I'll pause it right, so opening the driver's door if I pull back the curtain a second it's a bit of a mess in here because I'm trying to sort some bits out still this is the electrical breakers for the 24 volt system you've got this one here is the main breaker for the battery so this is the start motor uh, engine side this is purely just for the engine this array of panels this one here links the two batteries together or switches between the starter batteries and the household batteries this one here is the main breaker for the whole system, so you cannot go over 300 amps draw. If you may remember, I've got a huge inverter inside, which I'll show you again in a second. This one here, 200 amp breaker, which runs off these two up here. These two, so this one will trip out if there's over 200 amps pulled off of these two. These will trip out if there's over 100 amps off of each of these. These are purely just so as I can isolate each set of batteries. This two, sorry, my mistake. This 200 amp one, I should explain, is actually for the batteries that are behind this panel underneath the chest of drawers. So we've got another 225 amp hours of batteries basically behind here underneath you can't actually see them now I've tried to show you a little bit of them and I've shown you what they are in a previous video so that one is for the 225 amp hour batteries under there these two are for the two sets of 140 amp hour batteries this one is the main breaker that cuts the whole system and this one here as I say you can switch between number two is the household batteries number one is for the starter batteries one and two is obviously both and there's another setting which isolates the lot this is the main isolator sorry 
this one is it's the main isolator for isolating the engine side so this ice this is the original one that was on the bus and just cuts all power to the engine pausing again so back in the bus I'm sorry it's a bit dark Let's see if we can move around a bit up here we have two Victron charge controllers okay and a huge bundle of wires this one is for the 1425 watts that's currently on the roof this one will be if I decide to put the 400 watts of flexible solar panels somewhere on the bus then I'll be able to reconnect to that one it is connected up to the batteries at the moment which is why the light is flashing then coming over to this panel here this is a rather interesting setup this switch here goes to the small charge uh, small charger inverter that I have Victron charger inverter which I'll show you in a second these are the main breakers for everything in the bus so um, yeah I can't remember what they all are but I can look and see this one comes off of the sorry I got that the wrong way around this is for the small charger inverter this one is for the large charger inverter the reason I have two it oh yeah the reason I have two is basically the small one can power everything in the winter the large one is for the summer when I need to run the induction hobs and things like that I'll show you that in a second all right so what we have down here we have the Victron inverter which is a 24800 no sorry my mistake 24510 which means it runs on 24 volt system has peak output of or no sorry a normal output of 500 VA which is about 440 480 watts something like that um, and but the advantage of that is it can also connect to the shore power and then charge the batteries and it charges the batteries at 10 amps hence the 10. this massive beast this is a power jack 8 kilowatt or 8000 watt inverter the peak on this is 32000 watts um, I'm never going to use all the power from it and my batteries wouldn't withstand it anyway but uh, a hell of a system and as you can see I've got two very heavy 4 mil cables running from this which is totals about 60 amps that that can put out um, like I say my batteries would never cope with that so it's fine it's more than capable of running everything I have in the bus the last part of the electrical system this is the shore power and I have an isolator for this at the moment it's running off shore power all I would have to do is flip the switch down and it switches straight over to uh, the small inverter sorry drop him hand down I've also added some coat hooks up here so I've got somewhere to hang my coats above the passenger seat which at the moment is full of rubbish but uh, yeah you get the idea a few more bits and pieces there's still some more stuff to do I'm turning you around but yeah there's uh, still some more bits to do so we'll get it done shouldn't be too long now and hopefully I should be on the way okay well thumbs up if you liked it I uh, hope you liked the video and uh, hopefully I'll see you soon don't forget to subscribe if you did cheers